everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Let's Play series. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. It is a beautiful sunny day here in Minecraft and it's great guys, it really really is. Thank you guys so much for all of the support you guys have been showing this series. Last episode we reached well over 5,000 likes so we did hit the like goal which is fantastic guys. If we can keep it up with the 5,000 likes that would be absolutely brilliant guys. Let's keep up that hype. That hype is surely what keeps me going. Well, it's, it's one of the things that keeps me going. It certainly helps. So uh, yeah, guys, I'd very much appreciate it. So in today's episode, we're actually going to be doing an old fashioned caving episode. That is right, because we need a bunch of redstone. Okay, guys, we need to do a massive redstone mining session. We don't even need diamonds. I want redstone more than anything. Now, since the last episode, I tried to do a live stream on this world, and unfortunately, my internet kind of disagreed with that and wanted to be a complete and utter butt. So, that live stream was only like 30 minutes, and well, it's not on YouTube anywhere, unfortunately, but the fact of the matter is, I have finally begun decorating some of the areas of the world that much need it. Like, for example, this staircase that goes down to the caves here. You know, it, it desperately needed doing. It was just grey and stone. And, well, now, as you can see, it's looking a lot better, isn't it? So, yeah, there's even a sheep in there trying to look at the water. Huh? Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Don't you wish you could get out there and lick it up? <laughs> Oh dear, but uh, yeah guys, we've still got a little bit to do here, uh, but yeah, this is the progress that we've made since the last episode in terms of odd jobs and prettying up the world just a little bit, because of course, episode 50 is coming up very, very soon, and what that means is there will be a map download for that, so yeah, it's going to be a great time guys. Oh hello, what have you got? What have you got? A bucket of tropical fish and basically not a great deal of stuff. So, uh, you can be left to your own devices. I'm going to head down here because I need to empty out my inventory. We need to grab our portable mining box and then make a bit of a start on some mining. After uh, killing a bunch of dudes here because, yeah, it's fun to do. Alrighty guys, so since the last episode you guys were going ahead and putting all sorts of suggestions for what we could put in our portable mining box So here's what we've got going on now. We've now got six stacks of TNT We've got a whole bunch of food in here very well suggested. Thank you so much for that Obviously, we're gonna have all of our pickaxes here and then we are also going to have some other tools in here as well Shovels and axes, you know, those things would be pretty darn cool So for example, maybe we could have a silk tongue shovel and then a fortune shovel in case we wanted to grab ourselves a whole bunch of flint for whatever reason or we could just have ourselves some more pickaxes i don't know like maybe four pickaxes a shovel and an axe or something like that i don't know but anyways uh, our portable mining box is looking very very good and uh, as much as we could just go ahead and insta mine like i kind of just want to do a ye old fashioned freaking mining episode you know i think i think old fashioned mining episodes every now and again are a healthy thing to add into the mixture of episodes here my friends we've done a lot of building a lot of redstone farms and technical jiggery pokery so yeah we're gonna do ourselves a mining episode guys so let's get these night vis potions going so you guys can see what's going on and yeah we're gonna roll roll on from there i guess and I tell you what, since we have 33 levels, real quick, we'll try and get ourselves a decent book on here. Efficiency 3, that's terrible. What have we got? Power 3, terrible. What else? Feather Falling 4, okay, I'll take it. What's next? Sharpness 4? Ooh, that's a pretty good one. We need... Oh, okay, so we've already got Sharpness 5. Uh-huh, but Sharpness 4, I would always say, is a welcome sight. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not too heartbroken about that. All right, guys, so what I think I'm going to do is just, like, fly until we get to, let's say, Z negative 1,000, and then we start doing some mining there, because then I'm pretty sure we'd be guaranteed unexplored cave systems. As long as we keep track of where exactly it is we're mining in the world, we should be fine. I mean, oh, I've just come to the realization, guys. We have ourselves a mountain biome here. And if we go mining in mountain biomes, we could always grab ourselves emerald ore... Right? Ooh. This might not be the worst place in the world to explore, right? I mean, it seems like a fairly decently sized mountain biome. 
and we pretty much are at negative a thousand. So yeah, the reason why we're going so far away is because then I can get away with not putting torches down. Like it doesn't even matter because we've already lit up all of the cave systems around our base, right? So we've already got pretty much maximum rates when it comes to our various bits of mobs, you know, our hostile mob farms. So we don't really need to worry about them. So we could just go down, use our night vis potions, not even worry about lighting things up and then just go at it that way. <laughs> what? So I've just been digging down here and we've just bumped into diamonds straight off the rip. Wow. Reverse psychology really does work, ladies and gentlemen. I am literally not even looking for diamonds and it gives it to me. Hey, man, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I am never, ever, ever going to complain about being given those blue shiny rocks. Like, why would I complain about that? Like, what kind of person complains about getting diamonds? Like, tell me, man. Tell me. Who does that? Crazy people. I'm telling you. All right. Well, anyways, guys, we have ourselves some caves. Or, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we actually do have ourselves a cave system here. Looking pretty cool. Now, more than anything, guys, I mean, really, the priority is emerald ore and redstone ore. Okay, this is going to be the ultimate redstone and emerald ore hunt. Yes, it's going to be great, guys. So, I hope you guys are excited because it's not often I do mining episodes. What I want to do is try and find a cave system and then we'll go from there. Ooh, redstone. Ooh, talking of emeralds, there's our first bit right there. Uh, because of the uh, Vanilla Tweaks resource pack, it doesn't look like regular emerald ore, right? It looks like sort of the normal texture of ore. Like, for example, diamond. You know, they've got the same kind of splodges, right? So, yeah, that's part of the Vanilla Tweaks resource pack. And you can, of course, go ahead and grab that in the description down below if you want to use this pack for yourself. Oh, yeah. This is looking promising, ladies and gentlemen. We have an abandoned mineshaft here and it's unexplored yeah absolutely brilliant okay well here we go let's just go straight for these things man i mean there's not really a reason not to an iron pickaxe i mean that's pretty cool i guess the only thing is we don't really need any of this stuff right so i think i'm just going to keep it there and then maybe like put a torch there maybe take the coordinates and then we could come back and grab it if we so wish uh-huh. All right. Well, I'm hoping that by finding an abandoned mineshaft inside of a mountain biome, we should hopefully... Ow! Hey! Son of a gun. We should hopefully be able to find ourselves a bunch of emerald ore. I'm hoping, he says. Come on, baby. There's got to be some more around here. We're looking for redstone and emeralds as a matter of priority. Uh-huh. Well, there's gold over there. Not exactly useful to our cause, but you, my good sir, are going to perish. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, what else have we got going on here? Come on, green stuff. Hey, there's two chests right next to each other. Wow. All right, what do we got? A name tag? Always welcome in my books. You know, I'm going to keep those ten torches. I don't think we need them. Uh, some iron. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll take it. Why not? What's in this one? Ooh, more name tags. Cool. Cool. Oh, there's so much stuff going on here, man. I need to take another screeny, man. There's like two of them here. Cool. Now what, guys? While I'm down in the cave systems, I feel like it would be better for our survival if I put my full chest plate on, okay? I think that would be the best idea going forward because, you know, these guys do a, a fairly decent amount of damage with only uh, six armor points. So, yeah, I don't know, man. For the sake of my survival, I am going to put my chest plate on Hello! Oh my goodness, there's a small army here, guys! Hey, can we, like, maybe... Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm trying to get... Ow! Son of a... Get! 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 Get out of here! Alright, so here's what's gonna happen. Here's what's gonna... Oh! The... <sighs> You're not gonna come around, are you? You son of a gun! I was trying to get him to shoot the creeper and give me a record disc. I'm trying to go for the full load. Man! Ah. Gosh darn it. You know what, guys? While I'm down here and while I have the ability to make shears, I'm going to start picking up cobwebs. You know? If we want to make ourselves like a haunted house... Oh, no. Do, do you know what? Do you know what these things will be really, really useful for? You know that uh, Pirate Cove project that I've been talking about like a fair while ago? I feel like these would go really, really well in there. You know? A sort of old, sort of abandoned cave, which has a whole bunch of pirate loot and all of our buried treasure maps. Yeah, 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 that's a great idea. I'm going to steal that idea and use it as my own. Ha! <laughs> oh, girl! 
What do you think you're doing, sir? What? That guy, like, just dropped in on me and was like, Oh, hey there, broski. I'm gonna blow you up. Not today, sir. Not today. I am just too good. I am too good at this game. No, not really. I'm really not. Like, I've, I've died to such stupid circumstances that it's actually kind of unbelievable. And it makes me question my entire existence. Like, you guys ever get that? You have, like, a really stupid death and it's like, Oh, man. Well, like, seriously, what is wrong with me, bro? <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Alright, come on, man. There's got to be some uh, places around here that I've not explored yet. Oh, what's up there? Ooh, is that an alternate way to go? It looks like it. Uh, maybe? Question mark? Ah, oh, maybe not. It just goes back down. Ah, <sighs> never mind. Alright, well, we'll find some stuff eventually, guys. We will. We've got plenty of gold going on. So, I guess that's a thing. Do -do 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 -do. Just exploring a cave while I'm on fire. I mean, you gotta love being on fire, right? That means you're doing well, you know? That's that's that that's what that meme is, right? You're fire. You're fire right now. You are so fire. I'm sorry. I sound like a freaking parent, don't I? Who's like really out of touch with the meme world. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, whatever the case, let's go ahead and uh, carry on here, guys. We are a little bit higher than I would like to be. But that's just because that seems to... Oh, darn it. I lost those two bits of cobweb there. But that's only because I want to go ahead and see if I can't find some more areas of this mineshaft. Oh, my God. There's another two chests. And another name tag. Oh, man. Don't mind if I freaking do, my friendos. All right. What have we got on this one? Uh, another name tag. My gosh. Wow. We're really starting to come across the loot now. Awesome. Another screeny. Thank you very much. We will probably wind up coming back here, like, later on in the series. You know? You just never know, huh? But we've been really lucky with the chests so far, guys. That is now two occasions where I found two chests literally right next to each other. Ha! Brilliant. Right, we should probably eat, huh? Another chest. Oh, a golden apple. Okay, I don't mind golden apples at all. Uh, I'm going to take that in place of the rails there. And we are going to take another screeny. There we go. <laughs> oh, so many screenies. I could probably make an entire album out of them, huh? Look at all of these locations for amazing loot. That's actually not really that amazing at all when I come to think about it. Ah, oh, never mind. Oh, lapis. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> you are stuck, sir. What are you going to do about it, huh? Nothing. He's a little bit dead. Uh, like, even more dead than he would ordinarily be, just being an undead mob. Uh, holy lord! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I knew it would be a matter of time, guys! Holy mother of god. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Enchanted Golden Apple, a.k.a. the Notch Apple. There it is, my friends. Ah, oh, what an absolute beauty. Holy mother, that is so cool. Okay, right. That's like MVP right there. We have just found ourselves a golden apple that's enchanted. Hey, man. I don't know about you guys, but that deserves a like rating right there. That epic luck right there. Come on, babe. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. That's cool. That is so cool. Oh, emerald ore. Right. You blow it up, I'm going to be real mad. Go on, and you. You need, to, you need to disappear as well there, sir. I'm going to pick this up. Thanks. There we go. How many have we got? Three? Oh, man, I, I'll be honest with you guys. I thought I'd find more emerald ore than I uh, currently am. Uh-huh. I don't know. Maybe I'm just looking in the wrong places, huh? All right, more cobwebs. Aha! Uh -huh. More emerald ore for the Pythonator. And we've nearly got ourselves... Hey, another one. Cool. <laughs> All right, we seem to be uh, getting a little bit luckier with the emerald ore now. Maybe I was too far down. What's this? Uh, another gold apple. Oh, my gosh. So many gold apples today, friendos. Boop. There we go. And keep ourselves going. You just never know what you'll find in mineshafts. They are, like, honestly, really underrated, in my opinion. They really, really are. I feel like they could be made a little bit more difficult, maybe. Or maybe have some different or specialized loot. There's emerald down there. Okay. I will grab that in just a second here. For now, I am just defeating mobs because it's something that I enjoy doing. Poning mobs is like my bread and butter. It's just what I enjoy doing. Oh, look at you two. Don't you dare blow it up. I'm going to be real sad. Go on, get out of here. How many have we got now? Six? We've got more emerald than diamond. Uh-huh. Well, I can't say I was expecting that to be the case, but, you know, weirder things have happened, I guess. Oh, 
Gold. Oh my gosh, there's so many ores around here. There's lapis there. There's, there was like lapis somewhere over here as well. Oh, look at this. Oh, lapis all over the place. The more lapis we get, oh, the better things are going to be in terms of like enchanting. Right, what have we got here? Redstone. Okay, well, once again, take a screeny. We have definitely uh, hit a very lucky abandoned mineshaft here, guys. Like, it's not often I find this many chests inside of one of these things, you know? Like, oh man, I feel like I'm being so lucky today. Hello! Like, I mean, we found a freaking enchanted gold apple for crying out loud. I mean, if that doesn't mean we're lucky, I don't know what does. Alright, get out of it. Get- No, don't blow it up. I'll be real sad if you do that. Go on. Goodbye. What have we got? Another gold apple. Woohoo! Oh man, there's so many things. There's so many things. I feel like what I'm going to wind up accidentally doing though is like finding the same chests over and over. <laughs> Maybe I should have put torches above the ones I've already explored, huh? But, I mean, if there was a golden apple in that one, then that means I wouldn't have looted it, right? So, yeah. Anyways, let's keep going, huh? There's still plenty of stuffs to go around. Well, guys, when you get bored of a mining session, do you know what you can do? Do you know what you can do? You can grab out your portable mining box, grab out a stack of TNT or two, and then just go freaking ham, you know? That's what I want to do right now, because, you know, even when you blow up an ore, it doesn't really matter that much. All right, let's back off here real quick. That's probably going to hurt a little bit. Whoop! There we go. Diamonds, please. Ah, oh, no. No diamonds. Unbelievable. All right, another one, please. Come on. All the blowy, uppy thingies. Boop! There we go. Oh, God, that's going to be a bigger one, huh? All right, there, broski. You wanted to come down as well, did you? <laughs> Look at this guy. What a dumbo. Ah, oops, some gold. Oh, wow. I've got, like, a full stack of gold. That's pretty awesome. All right. Well, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of cool. All right. I, I kind of feel like just blowing things up at this point, my friends. I do have a very explosive personality, after all. I am a creeper, so it makes sense, huh? Whoop! <laughs> and there's nothing. Great! Now, obviously, this isn't going to be as as potent of an explosion as it is in the nether with the nether rat because stone of course has a fair amount of blast resistance it just means that the tnt isn't going to be that effective eh, i mean we're still going to find at least some stuffs i guess maybe i don't know man <laughs> it's just fun okay i like blowing things up it's just a fun thing to do i've, I've been really enamored with with tnt lately is it is it unhealthy that that's the case it probably is, let's be honest here, guys. Oh, goodness me. Ugh. I, I have an explosive tendency going on, guys. I don't, I, I don't even know what to tell you. Hey, there's redstone all over the place, though, so don't mind if I do. Ah, oh, beauties. I'm telling you, these are beauties. Absolute beauties. Look at that. Ten diamond ore. It has re-overtaken the emerald ore in terms of quantity. I feel like we need to have like a, a shoutcaster just commentating the uh, the leapfrog that is the diamond versus emerald race. <laughs> and here we are. We got diamond coming in from the back. We got emerald ore. We slipped up. Diamond has gone back in the lead. Oh my goodness me. I have never seen anything like it. Oh, I should shoutcast for a living, huh? No, I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. Huh. Well, that's something you don't come across very often. There's a bedrock pool down here. <laughs> oh, look at this. There's like a ton of redstone here. Oh, my gosh. It's like the ultimate redstone bedrock pool. Hey, man, I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of down with this. I'm kind of down with this. This is kind of awesome. I like this. This would be a great place for a secret base, I'd say. If you're on like an anarchy or faction server. Ah. Oh. So awesome. All right, well, let's carry on with the explodifying because it's fun and I enjoy it a lot. Oh, <laughs> oh beautiful. One, two, a three, and a four. Oh, that TNT revealed some, uh, some diamonds. I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely done with that. That is awesome. Ah, oh, darn it. I blew up an emerald ore. I'm, I'm a stupid person. <sighs> well, I mean, those are the dangers of mining with TNT. Oh, give me that redstone ore. I'm not going to blow these bad boys up. I want these in my possession. Yes. Yes, I do. All right. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. And off we go. And let's wait for the explosion of epicness. Yeah. What have we got this time? Oh, would you look at that? Another emerald ore. Ha! The emerald is catching up. It's quite funny when I think about it. This is the exact method that I use. Oh, what the heck just happened there? 
I think I just blew up a mob. <laughs> what? Oh, hey there, broski. Oh, jeez. I thought I blew him up. Well, apparently not. But yeah, this is actually like a, a semi, like, it's a semi-effective way of getting diamonds. It's the exact same method. Place down three TNT, put down a redstone torch, and boom, away you go. Every now and again, you'll come across a diamond door. If you don't blow it up, that is. Uh-huh. All right, well, uh, I need to do that and that and run away and, and off we go. Yeah, I love blowing things up. <laughs> It's so fun. Oh, no, I blew up redstone. I'm a terrible person. Etho would be so mad with me right now. Whoa! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! I don't know what you think you're doing. Oh, jeez. Please don't come out of the woodwork like that. Oh, duh! Hello. Hi! Oh, it's an infestation, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on, huh? What's going on? Oh, God, there's two of them. Hello, 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 hello. And all dead. Right? That, that, that's all of them? I, ah, oh, I always forget that there's a very low chance of there being a silverfish deposit in mountain biomes. Like, it's such a low chance of it being the case, but it can be the case. And that's what's terrifying, guys. That is what's terrifying. Well, guys, after all of that TNT, one stack of TNT, we managed to garner for ourselves, um, not a lot of resources, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Oh no, I have so wasted everybody's time here. But it's TNT, man! TNT's fun! TNT's fun, okay? I like TNT. Anyways, I'll tell you what, what we'll do is we'll go all the way until we run out of night vis potions. I'm actually on my fifth one right now. So we've got one more after this, and then after that, we'll do the comment question of the video and then head off. How does that sound? Ah, you see? More diamonds, and we're doing, like, more old-fashioned caving at this point, which I am definitely a fan of. Right, how many diamonds have we got? One. Any advances on one? Nope. <laughs> of course. A oh, freaking course. There's never going to be an advance on... Oh, God! Well, that was a terrible idea, wasn't it? Uh, yep, let's not go for a skinny dip in lava. I think that would not be in our best interests, okay? Oh, hey there, broski. How you doing there? I'm going to kill you. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, give me the gold. And I want emeralds and I want redstone and diamonds and everything. I want it all. Well, I mean, I don't really need iron. Like, at all. Like, ever again. I will literally never, ever need iron ore as long as I live. Not unless I'm going to use it for decorative purposes, I guess. <sighs> diamonds. 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 And they say that they're a girl's best friend. Nope, not at all. It's a Pythonator's best friend. It's everybody's best friend. There we go. <laughs> all right, guys, you know what we're going to do? We're going to raise the stakes a little bit. We're down at bedrock level, and we're going to use another stack of TNT, okay? Call me crazy. Call me crazy. But I'm doing it, okay? I'm, I'm freaking doing it. I, I have made the executive decision to do this thing. I am playing for fun, okay? If I die, I mean, I, I probably won't die. Let's be honest here. Uh, at least I hope I won't. <laughs> Every time I say that, it's like, you know, uh, oh, hello. Oh, no, that redstone. Duh, duh, duh. Yep, that didn't go well, did it? All right, well, let's keep going. Y equals five. Oh, man. Oh, gold. Hello. Oh, my goodness. We found so much gold today, but not a lot of redstone. Like, we've, we've got just over a stack of redstone ore. I was hoping to come out with a bit more than that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my gosh, did you just see that? Oh my word, it, like, it was just an explosion of silverfish. <laughs> oh man, I wonder why they get mad at me, huh? Holy gosh. Well, I can't say I was expecting that to happen in today's episode. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that's scary though. That is scary. Can you imagine that? Like, you do that inside of a stronghold, you're about to have, like, 30 silverfish on you, man. Like, that, that is scary. Uh -huh. Oh, my God, there's lava everywhere. Oh, my God. Was... <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is, like, high-stakes mining, ladies and gentlemen. High-stakes mining. I could die, but I could also get myself some pretty epic stuff. Oh, my gosh. There's just, like, bedrock everywhere. Oh, my God. And another one of these guys. Get out of here. You think you're so clever, don't you? 
You're really not. You suck, little silverfish. Ah, what a beautiful sight that is. TNT, which reveals both diamonds and gold. Don't mind if I do. So, yeah, since we don't have a gold farm, I am going to just continue to pick up the gold because this stuff is kind of useful now. Like, if you want to make yourself a bartering farm, which, by the way, we will probably wind up trying to do later on in the series, then, yeah, that'll be pretty awesome. Also, that was a very large vein of diamonds. Holy mother. Look at that. Half a stack of diamonds now. Oh, baby. Alrighty, guys. We're going to... Oh, my gosh. Hello. How are you doing there, sir? Beautiful. Good to meet you there, diamonds. Anyways, uh, yeah. We're going to need to speed this up a little bit because we're actually starting to run out of our final night vis potion. So, yeah. We're hopefully ending on a big finale here. So, there's another three. Okay. Let's make ourselves another little poke hole, like maybe in here. Ooh, we're going to go rapid fire mining now, guys. All right, and uh, let's go over this way, because why not? And then we'll just do like one, let's say, in the corner there. All right, what are we going to get? What are we going to get? Okay, we've got some redstone here. Okay, fantastic. Don't mind if I do. Uh, we're going to have to get rid of one of these uh, stacks of uh, cobblestone, though. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. So we've got just over two stacks of redstone ore, which I would say is pretty awesome. Get it? Awesome. Oh, I'm so stupid. Anyways, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. And apparently that went all the way down to like below the bedrock. Wow, that, looked, that went really far down, huh? All right. Well, uh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. High stakes mining. We've got 36 diamond ore, 8 emerald ore, just over 2 stacks of redstone ore, uh, about a stack and a half of gold, and a little bit of coal and iron because I wasn't really focusing on picking those up. So, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely awesome session today. I have really enjoyed it. I really, really have, and I hope you guys have as well. So, uh, without further ado, we will hop into the comments question of the video which for today comes from sway snipers who says python if you want a use for crying obsidian you could put it in the corners of the nether portals to make them look cool love the vids keep up the hard work buddy thank you so much for the kind words really appreciate it and that, again that goes for every single one of you guys uh, who say things along the same lines i do truly appreciate it so thank you and uh, yeah Crying obsidian, corners of the uh, portals, it makes sense, doesn't it? So maybe what we do, if we manage to get ourselves like a bartering farm going uh, and we have a source of crying obsidian, uh, we could start replacing all of the corners of the portals above the bedrock ceiling in the nether with crying obsidian. I think that'd be awesome. So yeah, I like the idea. Thank you so much for that. But for now, my friends, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Ooh, it's super dark. If you guys have enjoyed today's fun mining episode, then please do be sure to let me know with a like rating. I truly appreciate it, folks. Let me know that there's still hype for old-fashioned mining episodes. I would very much appreciate it, guys. Ooh, more redstone. Look at that. We are trying to get out now, and I'm still finding epic stuff. Guys, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to ding that bell if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day as always, and I will see you guys in the next episode.